We don't have a single metric of humans that we can measure that better predicts how long they will live than how high their VO2 max is. It's not even close, to be completely clear. So if you compare somebody who is in the top 2% to someone who is in the bottom 25% for their age, the difference in mortality is 5x. 500%. Yes. We normalize this by weight. So we always divide that number of liters per minute by how many kilograms you are. So the number is actually reported as milliliters per kilogram per minute. If we look at somebody who is your age, male, 30 to 39, if their VO2 max is below 35 milliliters per kilogram per minute, they are in the bottom 25%. Conversely, if they are at 53 milliliters per kilogram per minute, they are in the top 2.5%. So to be clear, if you take a 35-year-old man and one of them has a VO2 max of 53 and the other one has a VO2 max of 35, there is a 400% difference in their all-cause mortality over the coming year.